oh my god, this is gonna be a godsend. Welcome back to another video. It has been such a long time since I've said those words and I hope you guys have all been well. I wanted to pick up right where we left off. Look guys, beep boop, beep boop. Guys, I like to come here and just sit and drink my coffee. They have pretty good desserts too. But it's always so quiet and nice. It's a good escape from Fifth Avenue or the chaos that's downstairs. <clears throat> Don't mind this little thing here. My poor little baby Angelo, he didn't mean to do this, but he was laying on my chest and I wish I had a cooler story, but he was laying on my chest and a bag of chips fell and it freaked him out and he ran on my face and cut me a little bit but yeah through one door on to the next Sounds of the birds. So they have all of these cool kind of wellness things. I we're in number 44. And this is the room. So cute. And then you have an outdoor bathroom, an outdoor rain shower. So beautiful. This is the restaurant La Popular. They have the best chocolates. Did we just get adopted by a little puppy? Hola! Wow. And then they said that the sunset over the jungle. April came around and I filmed my music video for Persion. The treatment for that video, like sitting on my phone for maybe two or three years now, it's so nice to finally bring it to life. When May came around, I have two cats. We have Cardi and Angelo. Angelo ended up getting sick. He actually got obstructed. It came from his kibble and he actually had to go to the hospital and then we had to monitor him for a couple of weeks. June came around and I had to move out of the house and we have finally made it to July. I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get right into it. As you can see, we're in a new location. I don't typically shop on Amazon, like ever, 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 ever. But because I moved, I decided to open up a Prime or set up my Prime account. And then it turned out to be Prime Day. It was just so many good deals. So I have a few packages that I want to share with you guys that make my life a little bit better, that could make your life a little bit better. And let's get right into it. The first package that I have in my hand is the Revlon One Step Volumizer. I was thinking about how I always go to the salon to get my hair done. I have to book an appointment. They don't have availability. I have to look for another salon. The person that I like isn't there. I have to tell someone how to do my hair. I have really curly hair and I am not talented in using a brush and a blow dryer and just sitting there and attempting to do that, not my forte, nor do I have patience. So I ended up buying this and I've tried it on myself. It was a success. So I have already opened it right here. It has more of like an oval shape to it instead of rounded. I don't know if you guys grew up in the era with the Revo styler, but when I was younger, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be a godsend. My hair is gonna be straight. My mom ended up getting the Revo style. I don't know how I convinced her. She got it, she used it. It didn't work on her, it didn't work on me. As I got older, 
I would just use a flat iron and then I found like some similar item any of those hair brushes that have like the air dryer inside of them but they didn't really work my hair would still be super poofy it wouldn't straighten at all and even this is not super super straight but we got somewhere like I will show you before and afters um, but I just think that the shape of it how large it is makes it super easy to style your hair I think it took me about 15 minutes or so to genuinely go from wet maybe 20 minutes wet to dry hair and like these beautiful like blowout waves which I was like oh my god I didn't have to like fight with someone about because I'm very particular about my hair I didn't have to fight with someone about how they're handling my hair I didn't have to try to get an appointment I didn't have to go anywhere and I kind of just you know it was super easy so I also think this will be great go traveling the barrel is pretty wide but it's not that heavy so you don't get tired while you're doing your hair um yeah I, there's really nothing to say bad about this product like cons wise um the amount of heat that is distributed is great now the only thing is you don't have the ability to kind of set the heat temperature to what you want i myself have fine hair so typically when i use my flat iron i use about 380 degrees 390 at most i try not to go above that um but this kind of just has right here you'll see high um, low, cool, and off. So it would just you just slide it over. But then this maneuver also is super simple. So if you want to just put it down, you just lock it like that. I mean, it's easy, and it was thirty dollars. And I'll link it below. I'll link everything that I have in front of me below. But it was thirty dollars, and I was like, wow, this is such a good deal. Every time I go for a blowout, they advise like around ninety dollars or so. But I'm like, ah. Oh. I like to get my hair kind of blown out like every week or every two weeks so that adds up i hope that this lasts me forever because this is a godsend the next package i have in my hand here i know exactly what it is um just because of how large the box is it is the wine glasses that i bought because i knew that my friends were coming over and luckily this was prime day so got it overnight and look at the shape of these. I'm going to take them out and show it to you guys. But I do not love very rounded, bulky glasses. I like nice kind of lean wine glasses. I'm not much of a drinker myself. Um, but when I do have people over, I know that they want wine and cheese boards. And I like to host. I love to host. Um, so I just feel like these are pretty ergonomic. Now let me show them to you guys. The shape of these wine glasses is absolutely stunning. Like you see here. It has more of like a square bottom so it looks really beautiful but it also feels nice and light they were about twenty dollars how do you get five four sorry they're four how do you get four glasses of wine for uh wine glasses for twenty dollars and, and these are beautiful too like i really like the ones from cb2 typically but i'm not gonna pay 15 20 dollars for a wine glass when these exist and they're so beautiful. I think if you are trying to add something minimalist and clean to your collection and you need some wine glasses or you've just moved and you don't want to splurge too much or you're not much of a drinker yourself but you like to host people, these are going to be wonderful for that. Um, what I will say is they were $20 on Prime Day but without it, I think it was 27 something around that nature. So I still think they're a pretty good value. They also came with these, which I don't... Can you guys tell me what these are? I do believe that these go inside the wine to, um, I believe like when you take the cork out. Um, is this an aerator? I think I have a decanter. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys can let me know what this one is. I think it's an aerator. The next thing that I have is very, 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 very important to my life. I love coffee. If you know me, I've always loved coffee. I go hang out with my friends. Coffee's great. Growing up in an Arabic household, you're drinking coffee, you're drinking tea. In the morning before I go to school, I have tea for breakfast with some Maria cookies. That's just the way my grandmother raised me. And then after dinner, we have a little bit of tea too. But sometimes you go out and have some coffee. And when I went to Egypt, they were having coffee at like 2 o'clock in the morning. We were out there eating like couscous which is like this delicious food i mean it's basically like a pasta but egyptians we throw sugar on it um and then we have a coffee so it is really really delicious but that's a tangent that i just went on however coffee to me is very very important and 
I've always had this Kassara like coffee maker. I've never taken too much interest in it and I don't think that I need to have like a crazy crazy espresso machine or you know one day I would love to. But yeah, I don't really have the space right now. I live in a New York City apartment so it is quite small. So I did see I needed something new. I needed something that was going to be a sleek design because I do like something that looks really clean. Also, I needed something a bit more compact. So if you need something for a small space, this will be amazing. It is the Keurig Model K Express Black One Cup. This coffee machine works so fast. It will make your mornings so seamless, so easy. You have between 8, 10, 12 ounces, and it takes in, I would say, under less than a minute. And I can physically time it for you guys if you would like but it moves so fast and the house smells so good and you can just get your coffee out the way. What was wrongly advertised in my hand was the K-cups. Keurigs, typically you would have to get like their own K-cups and you would get like whatever coffees. I don't drink a lot of coffees. My favorite coffee is La Colombe Nitz. I don't think, although I haven't checked, I don't think there are La Colombe Keurigs or K-cups. So, with Keurig because you're almost forced to buy the brands that they house they have created which I think is great a my k-cup universal reusable coffee filter I already opened this up and sadly and did a lot of research sadly it is not usable at all it doesn't fit inside the k-express model because I do know spaces I was like this is quite large I'm not sure if this is gonna fit and it did not so I'm gonna be returning that and I was a victim of false advertising. So, wah, wah, wah. first world problems. Next thing in here are these acrylic dividers. So for the drawers, I actually have OCD. That being said, I love a very, very neat house. I need it to function. I need it to, you know, keep going on in life. I also don't like to have to look for things. They need to be easily found. So not just in the sense of me having to remember where they've been, I need to see them because if it's buried or if I have a drawer, for example, and I'm looking for my screwdriver and it's buried underneath a bunch of things, I'm not liking that. So I use these right here and I'll link them below. They come in this size right here and this size right here. And they'll be very useful for anybody that's using them either in your drawers or if you're using them on a, your kid's school desk or if you're using them in your vanity, they just house a lot of things you could go from putting your pens to nail polishes, to tape. It's just really useful. And everything's not just sliding around in a drawer. So it will benefit you quite a lot. Back to the subject of coffee. These are double lined or coffee cups with a wall. So it looks like your coffee is floating here. These are the five and a half ounce versus the 12 ounce. So there's only two sizes. So I feel like the five and a half ounces Pretty perfect a lot of people would say this is more of an espresso cup it's nice and small i don't like to drink so much coffee like straight in the morning anyway um if you know you know you do your 30 grams first and then you drink your coffee but it's a great size it's easily held i can be in this video speaking to you guys drinking my morning coffee i only got two but i'll keep adding to the collection i was thinking about exchanging it for the 12 ounce but but i'll have to test it out and let you guys know i think five and a half ounces is a good amount it's not bad the next thing that i got which actually i have yet to try but because it was on this prime deal i was like why have i been waiting for this i've not gotten a facial in about two years or so and that's on me and I need to go get it and life has been chaotic like I've said but there is the Caudalie 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 Vino Pure um, mask purifant and it works in five minutes purifies your pores in five minutes living in New York or just in general right now with, with global warming and everything but living in New York the amount of pollution that you have I'm always outside, the amount of sun that I'm getting, the amount of everything, I feel like my face cannot breathe. I feel like my pores are super clogged. It doesn't matter if I wash my face twice a day or not, it just feels like it's not breathing. So I really look forward to trying this out. If you have tried it out, let me know what you think of it. And once I do try it out, I'll, if you guys want, I'll film a video 
and I will let you know how it goes. The next thing that I have here is the three pack motion sensor under cabinet lights. So you put all your stuff in your cabinet, you can't find it, you're looking around, you're like, oh my God, where's everything, where's everything? But these were great because they're censored. I love that. I don't have to keep anything on. I don't have to add anything to my light bill. I don't have to get an electrician to add something to my add wiring house. I'm not an electrician. They're rechargeable, so you don't have to keep buying batteries for them. And you have three different modes of light. You can have like your cool light, which I'm not a fan of, a little bit of a warm light, which is why I look a little bit tan right now because I'm using my warm ring light. And this is just perfect for that. Now, I didn't get it for the purpose of underneath the cabinet. I bought it for the purpose of my closet. Oh my God, I'm super grateful for everything. I'm not complaining, but I fit a lot of stuff in there. Like I fit my dresses, my blazers, my winter coats, my jeans, my blah, 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 blah. I fit everything in that freaking closet. I don't know how, by the grace of God, I did. There is no light in that closet. So I'm like, who the hell designed this? Why wouldn't I want to see my clothes? So I've used a couple of these and I'm going to show you what one of them looks like. So they have these ma magnets. My closet has studs, so it actually didn't need the magnets, but you can just put the magnet right on it. You would stick this into the back of the wall and then this would be the magnetic part, which would attach to the light. And it comes with two for each of the bars. So you would just place it simply where it's at, find like a good place. I personally prefer on the side or overhead, but that's just me. And I'll turn one on. So look how bright that is. So you have two modes. You can keep it on indefinitely or you can have it as a motion sensor. So look at the different colors that you have. So one is super, super golden and yellow. One is very cool, which reminds me of fluorescent lights like in school or like when you're on your lunch break. And I don't like that. I don't like that. It feels like I'm in a hospital. That's not my vibe. And then you have a slightly more golden but not super golden and then if you had wanted to dim it oh see i made it brighter and now i'm dimming see isn't that fantastic that's so useful so i just think that this is something great to kind of have the final thing that i have is this smart tracking holder so if you see here and i'm so excited to use this i know that it was a huge huge thing on tiktok when it first came out a lot of people were like buying it and i don't know why i decided not to buy it I've taken it out. I attempted to track with it. I will let you guys know once I really am using it, how it works in my eyes, um, whether or not you should buy it, if it's worth it. So I'll link it below just in case you had wanted to do something. If you're making a cooking video, if you're speaking to your family, you know, or if you're on the phone FaceTiming and you just want to show someone what you're doing, it's nice to kind of be completely hands-free, but not be in a fixed situation where this follows you. Although I thought it was a little bit creepy. I was like, is big brother watching? So. I'm gonna hide it somewhere else. So yeah, there's that. I am going to go get ready and then I have a little bit of time to kill. I bought a couple of steaks and I'm making a charcuterie board, which I'm really excited for. I wanna be very, very honest because I do not cook so, uh, you know, that much. But I can make a good steak and my charcuterie boards are delicious. So I'm gonna go make a charcuterie board, gonna go get dressed. We are also gonna go to a cute spot with some views called electric lemon if you have been or you haven't been i've been going there for a few years it has a great view and their polenta fries are really good and their drinks are really good and it's like why would we not want to go see the sunset there so let's get dressed and i will bring you guys to that time i have such a good vibe here because they have the outdoor heaters for the seats of lamb 
see what she's not. It's it is the steak frites. Avi got her burger. Nothing needs some. What is it? Patatas. <laughs> sea bag. Spinach. Delicious. Good morning, everybody. I have just done a little makeup. I'm about to do my hair because I'm going to meet my friend for breakfast, which you guys will see in the next video. But I realized I didn't have a proper closing for this one. So I really hope you guys found something useful or beneficial or something that you liked in this video. And I can't wait to see you guys for the next one.